What's up everybody, Rob Cohe here with Autodesk. Welcome to my PLM360 Fundamental Video Series. This one is on items and bills of material. But before I get started, I want to answer the question, why does anyone need product lifecycle management? The bottom line here is PLM tools exist for the sole purpose of enabling the end user to make a more informed decision. If you're not looking at a PLM tool for any other reason than that, then you're looking at it from a wrong perspective. Because really what you're trying to do is say, give me as much information that I need so that I can be more informed about decisions related to my products. Whether it's decisions were made during a change process, a supplier issue, some sort of quality issue, or the formalized process that I'm gonna utilize to launch this new product out in the market. But where I always start is I always start at the most central, most commonly referenced piece of information, the bill of material. So what tools does Autodesk PLM 360 have in order for me to utilize bill of material functionality so that I can make a more informed decision? Well, first we're gonna talk about the configurable views. Every single piece of data inside of PLM 360 is something that I can sort on when I'm looking at my item master inside this workspace here. I can sort by them. I can easily configure, configure, not customize, very significant difference. I can easily configure these views to display just the information that I care about, right? So not only your default, but you can also set up different named views. So you can add as many views as you want from a user standpoint, again, for that purpose of filter out all the things that I don't currently care about right here, right now at the moment, and let me find the information so that I can make a decision. Now, the next thing you're, you're gonna look at is a fully configurable item and bill of material workspace. Every single item that you see here, every single field, every section is fully configurable by your administrator. And it's really point and click, drag and drop. It doesn't require somebody with advanced coding knowledge sitting in somebody's basement um, customizing your code for you. Now we also have obviously complete revision history, every single minute detail down to the nth degree. And what you also find with PLM360 is a very simple, clean user interface displaying just the relevant information that the end user needs. I'm not overwhelming them with item-based information. There's a heck of a lot more information associated to this, but I'm just boiling it down to the things that they care about. Another feature that is used all the time, where use. Where is this particular item used so that I understand before I make a change to this, what the potential impacts are going to be. Now, another thing that we're, we want to be able to do is be able to expose costing information right at the engineering level. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, let's dive into one of these uh, subcomponents here, and it's just a socket head cap screw, right? Has a lot of the same information that we have inside of the assembly where used, but in here, we're actually exposing the cost information so that at the engineering level, I can understand right at my fingertips what the impact of simply changing a supplier is going to be on this one object, right? So I can look at it from that point of view. I can say, show me every single supplier that we have with this item, or I can flip it over and I can know the impact that the suppliers have on my business by looking at all of the items that I get from a certain supplier. And all this information is very relevant to engineers while you're evaluating things like, can I swap out this component? Can I swap out this different supplier? Do we already have a, a list of pre-approved suppliers? So right here while I'm editing the bill of material, I can expose that information to the end user so they know the total impact of a change or a proposed change, right? So I'm presenting the information to the end user so that they can make a more informed decision. Now, another fantastic feature of PLM360 is a fully configurable bill of material views. Now, these views allow the end user to filter out the different pieces of information that are commonplace inside of an item and say, just show me the information that I care about at this particular point in time so I don't have to open up multiple systems in order to get the information that I need, this is gonna sound like a broken record, to make a more informed decision. Now check this out. Our bill of material compare tool inside of PLM360 is bad ass. I can compare a bill of material, not just between itself, but I can also compare any bill of material to any other revision of any item inside of PLM360. Now, why is that important? Have you ever tried to spit out a spreadsheet of a bill of material and view the difference between the two in order to understand what the impact of a change is? Because not all change is, is, is visually apparent. 
Sometimes you're simply swapping out components, but this build material compare tool inside of PLM360 gives me that nice graphical interface to say, seriously, make this blatantly obvious as to what's going on here so that I can either approve, reject, send back uh, this request for change. Now we're Autodesk, so of course we have a very visual uh, in in interface with PLM360, just like we do our design tools. And here with PLM360, we have a built-in cloud-based viewer, so you don't have to worry about the wrong versions, doing file translations and all those other things. We simply take care of it for you. Now another thing you're going to need to do with your bill of material or item information is send it outside of PLM360. And really, being able to communicate this outside of the folks that don't have PLM360, these views that we have here, again, just like everything inside of PLM360, is fully configurable. So let's recap real quick. We talk about all of the things that we have, tools at your fingertips to make a more informed decision, sorting tools, configurable bills material, control, uh, revision history, just displaying the relevant information, the impact analysis, suppliers, the configurable views, the, the, the bomb compare tools. I ran out of space. I ran out of space and music. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you.